Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are going to be designing a full design inside of Canva. Okay, I'll be using Berger, but you can use any one of your choice. Okay, and um, yes, subscribe if you haven't or if you're new, make sure you're subscribing. Please make sure you're subscribing. Okay, and without any further ado, let's dive straight into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so for the first time in history, I Am I allowed to say that I'm using the dimension 1080 by 1080, okay? And these are the design elements we'll be using. For the colors, I'm going to give them to you first, okay? So the first color code is FEE9C9, okay? The second color code is FC3605. And the third color code, all right, is where is it okay so 171717 and with the font we are going to be using the Borsuk font and the Bombarda font okay these are the fonts we are going to be using okay so let me just you know do this okay and hit them here the first thing we are going to do is to change the background color okay so i'll change the background color to this one okay you can see it's vanished <laughs> all right then press r on your keyboard okay make sure it's hitting the center line you can see aha uh -huh. then increase the length okay and increase the width okay so something like this then we can duplicate this okay then make sure you're decreasing it like this and hitting it here all right so this one the color is going to take the orange okay so click on the orange and i will just choose the orange color okay so you come to color then come to the orange okay and this will take the black over here okay so i choose this and i choose that and you can see what we have at the moment so then i can just delete the colors from there because it would be over there in canva all right all right so what we have to do is with this font okay we would just bring it here and we'll change the color to the first one okay what i'm simply going to say is burger all right so b u r g e r okay make it big and i'll make it all caps okay then what we can do is we can center this stuff okay so i just center it and increase the size to something like this okay then i move it here duplicate it and position it here then duplicate duplicate till okay you can see what we have at the moment now we want to also do something fancy so select you know the second burger the fourth one okay in that order okay so you can see then we can come to position and just choose what 180 for this okay it will just rotate it uh -huh. all right and if there was the option to flip we would have just flipped it but it you know, just to do something very crazy anyway so before we add our photos i want us to finish working on our text okay so with this one we can increase the size a little bit and we can simply say enjoy okay our all right yeah so enjoy our then we add the various words we want to add so i have some few words the first one is flavorable okay so flavor okay so flavorful and i was saying flavorable oh my god how can i <laughs> how can i say that here so flavorful okay i think this canva uses the american uh english okay but here in ghana we use the british one okay so flavorful and i would change this one to irresistible okay irresistible and uh this one too you saying is wrong what did I spell? Okay, anyway, look, sometimes we are just trying to do what's right. <laughs> okay, this one will be appetizing. Okay, so A double P E T I Z I N G. Okay, then we add another one. Succulent. Okay, so succulent. Okay, this is supposed to be double C. Succulent. And this is what we have at the moment. You can select all and tidy it up. Okay yeah so i didn't want it to uh -huh, so this is fine then i can add the last one over here would say burger okay so this one can have a different color okay and we're also going to change the font to the bombarda font okay well i like how this font looks it's very nice you know so we can make it big but since everything here is using the capital letters we'll just do 
you know, we just go the same way just to keep it consistent. Okay, that's the thing. We want to be consistent. Okay, so we can change everything, bring it here, and we can also reduce the size a little bit. Okay, so something like this, I think it works, okay? Then we now want to add our burger. So you can simply come to Canva and you can search for burger. If you're using pizza, you can do that. If you're using sandwich, you can do that. Okay, just search for it. So I'm going to be using this one. All right, so this one for an example. And I'll bring it all the way to the front, okay? So I can position this here, something like this, and I'll just rotate it. And I would also bring it in the duplicate and bring it all the way to the front, okay? Then I can maybe have it here like that, okay? So this is what we are going to do. Then we want to edit the burger a little bit, okay? But let's do that after we are done with the text, okay? I don't know why I'm just rushing. <laughs> okay, so we duplicate this and bring it here. All we are just going to say is special offer, okay? So special offer. I know you can't see what I'm doing now, but we'll just change the color to this, okay? So special offer, and we have it here like this. Anyway, then... What you have to do now is to press R on your keyboard to add a shape, okay? Then position it here. Then you can just do this, okay? So you can see what we are doing and duplicate the shape and position it here, okay? Then increase the size, okay? So something like this should be very easy for you. Now we want to add some rounded corner, okay? So add some rounded corner and it should be like this, okay? So we will change the colors. This one will take the first, you know, um, cream color, if I'm correct to call it that. And this will take the orange color, okay? And the currency we use over here is CD. So I'll just choose for the CD sign, okay? The Ghana CDs, 20 pesos. And I don't know, I'm sure the person who added this is a Ghanaian, okay? Anyway, I'll just do my checks later on to see who added it because the person has done a great job all right then we can duplicate this and place it here and now change the color to we can change it to match this color so that we are just trying to be consistent with all the colors okay and now change this to i think one bigger here is about 40 you can have one bigger like 40 cities okay so i'll just do it but let's assume maybe this is even my bigger shop i would want to sell one bigger for like 20 cities okay 29 20.99 we're making it like 21 cities which i think is fine you know who knows one day we can decide to to do something okay so we would also add this one over here okay and we want people to easily buy from us so what we are simply going to do is to add let's say qr code okay so to add a qr code what you can do is if you have a link already you can just come to apps okay come to apps and just search for kill out okay and you should see kill out but i like to use the original one from Canada. all of these other ones are fancy ones you can use but let's just keep things simple okay so i'm going to use or i'll just enter my website link here okay so https you can see it's added so if you scan this code it should actually work okay yeah it should work so that's how you add a kill out code in Canva. and let's also let me just copy style and paste it to add a rounding. Okay, so you can see we've added the rounding in here. Then we can add maybe any text in here. Okay, we can add a text that says scan, you know, scan to order. Okay, so scan to order. And we can just put this here. And what we will have to do is let's say to reduce the, this a little bit. I mean, maybe, yeah. And I think the rounding is too much for the code okay i think it's better now so something like this is fine and we'll move this also here okay so let's move it to the side like that then we want to also add some extra text if you want okay so i'm just going to add some extra text i'll change this to make it easy to read out add maybe some poppings and let me just add my text okay so we'll have it like this and we'll have it here like that okay so we can see what we have right now this looks good but it still looks flat we want to ginger things a little bit okay so let's come here 
okay let's come to element and let's search for tomatoes okay so tomatoes okay some people will say tomato or t t you know depending on where you are from you would have a special way you pronounce it okay so and the photos i would i think this works okay so would have this one okay and this looks much a little bit i think this yeah this one looks better so i can yeah use this one i position it here okay and maybe have it here then i can also duplicate it and bring it here now bring it all the way to the front then i can search for lettuce okay so l-a-t-t-u-c-e -E, lettuce and let's see okay i think there's some cool stuff in here so we can use this one you can choose any ingredient of your choice okay so let me reduce the size okay and position it here and bring it here and bring it here okay now let's adjust the colors a little bit so i come to the edit come to adjust and let's adjust the colors we want it to be bright okay the contrast a little bit okay we want to add some saturation to make the colors pop and some clarity to make it you know appetizing then come to copy style and paste it on the second one okay now for these ones we want the saturation where is saturation yeah saturation to be high because they are colorful okay then we will go back and add some blur to it okay so with the blur come to whole image and add the intensity because we don't want attention to be on them okay so that's the reason then we can just choose copy style right click copy style and click on the other one right click copy style click on this right click copy style and click on that as you can see this is what we have been able to create at the moment i think we missed one thing sorry i think the burger was supposed to be here we missed it so let's just add it back i think when i was duplicating it it didn't duplicate so burger okay is here and yes i think we've been able to sort it out so this is a design we've created in Canva. I hope you loved it. I hope it was easy for you to follow. If you're on the free version of Canva and you want Canva Pro, I have a special link in the description box below. You can also join my community. The name is Benjamin Osh. Remember, there is no limit to creativity. And I should see you in my next video. Peace.